The Quality of Life program supports people with intellectual disabilities. We mostly focus on social and recreational programming, so we go into the community half the time and then half the time we're at the centre doing centre-based activities. When I first met Lori, she preferred to spend a lot of time by herself doing activities on her own, like either colouring or ripping, or she would find a room off to the side somewhere and look at a book or just cover herself up with a blanket. She seemed to appear to find interacting with other persons or groups um, overwhelming and it would cause her to be a little anxious so she preferred singular activities and if she did go out with someone it, she would prefer to go out in small groups but normally it was that she might interact with us if we were doing baking or something initially but even then it seemed to be a challenge for her to stay focused on it she would get very stimulated and would uh, want to go and have some downtime by herself. Um, facing her fears too, she used to not like dogs, but recently she pet three dogs on an outing by herself of her own initiative. Um, baking, she doesn't just dump the sugar in anymore. She stirs things and puts the cookies on the cookie sheet. She has tried all our sensory items, which she has previously stated, I'm afraid, I don't, I don't like this, but she's doing much better now. The changes in Lori occurred not very long after she came to this program and um, she seemed to be more open to exploring the physical environment and checking out the different spaces and, and what they offered like the snizzling room, the movie room and different areas like that initially. And then a couple of months after that, Lori seemed to be more excited about interacting with her peers. She started calling them her friends. They uh, include her in the activities. They talk to her. They know that she likes to sit on the couch, so if it's full, they move over for her. So they've been really great in just accommodating what Lori needs and making her feel comfortable out there. So I think that just helps her to feel more comfortable and um, come out of the movie room a little bit more and do different things and try, try new things. Things that I have noticed in Lori's interests that have changed is that she's much more um, adventurous in our outings and out into the community. She's much more willing to um, explore things that either A, she had never done before, or B, that she might have declined because it, she found it made her feel anxious. She's gone to a program where there's farm animals, she's petted the animals, she wouldn't do that before. She tries the new thing. She's gone on outings that are walking a little bit more. She doesn't like to walk lots, but she's gone to the forestry farm where she knew that there was going to be a lot of walking and she tried it anyways and she did great. And even if she gets a little bit nervous, she'll like, you know, say like, I'll be okay. You're with me. I have my friends. I'll be okay. And we're like, absolutely. We got you. You'll be fine. If you need an extra help, just let us know. And she has that confidence to, to speak that. Referring to her peers as her friends, she'll actually go up to one and say, you're my friend and want to give her a hug. And I don't think I'd ever heard that before her actually seeing somebody else as a friend and labeling it as a friendship and recognizing it as that and it putting a smile on her face. Lori's never spent the night away from her family before this year, but recently she went up to PA to stay at the respite home there for a week. And then she went to Camp Buffalo and stayed there for four or five days. And by all accounts, it was really successful. Lori had a good time. She tried new activities. She met new people. Even when she was in PA, her mom said, when she called, Lori said, I like it here and I'm staying. So that's really good for Lori because she would often, even here sometimes she says, I want to go home. I want to go home. I miss my mom. But for her to say, I want to stay here and not come back, that's pretty awesome. Lori, we're super proud of you and we can't believe how far you've come. So great work. Congratulations. Well, Lori, congratulations on your award. I am so happy for you. I think you are so deserving of this. You have worked so hard to conquer some of your fears and to be more open to new experiences. And I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. I see you as my friend and I'm so happy that my friend can have this much success for herself and see some of her own personal dreams come true. So congratulations.